What's up everybody, it's John here, bringing you another episode of Thoughts for the Road. Uh, so you may notice I'm, I'm a little Johnny Cashed out here. Uh, just came back from uh, a funeral. One of my employees, his, his mom died. Um, God rest her soul. And uh, So I went to, uh, to support my employee and show him that, you know, I was there for him, and uh, it it was was very nice, it wasn't, it was more a celebration of life than a mourning of a loss, Uh, but those are, those are always fun, Um, well, it's not fun, but it's, That's how I, I want to be. My, I want my funeral to be. I want it to be a celebration of life. Not just my life, but, you know, my kids and the people that I know. And, and, uh, and that, that's, that was what was going there. Everybody was talking to everybody. And uh, I was talking to my employee's niece and uh, nephew-in-law. Uh, who are from New York. He's a uh, police officer in New York. And they live in uh, just outside of Manhattan, and uh, we were talking about farming and, and homesteading and all the little different animals that we like to keep. And, and for those of you who who don't know, I've got animals uh, constantly moving them and, and everything uh, and up until a couple years ago I had a, an entire farm um, but before I, I got my promotion to management I I was going to move to Montana so I got rid of all of my livestock but I had ducks, chickens like I said currently we have the pig uh, and then like I've mentioned in previous videos, I've got my my dogs, my cats, and my budgies, uh, and then of course, you know, three boys. So, yeah, it's uh, <coughs> <coughs> developing a little cold here. Um, but uh, yeah, we were just discussing livestock and and how they're one how they're raised and I've been called a murderer for culling my own livestock Um, out here in California they don't they don't get it as much Um, well I should say in in the LA basin um, I ask people all the time that, that come in, where do you think your chicken comes from? Where do you think your beef comes from? Oh, they come from the yellow and the red packages. Uh, where do you th- how do you think they got there? I, I, I don't want to think about it. Okay. Um, my kids know how to raise their own food. They know how to, uh, they know how to cull their own food. I think it's a skill that every person should have at one point in their life is to know how to raise their own food and not just corn or you know not carrots or tomatoes but actual you know meats and potatoes and vegetables and, and how to take care of them when they're sick and to know when, when it's time to put them down and move on with it um so yeah, uh, we were discussing that, and yeah, grass raised beef, and, and it was a it was an interesting conversation. I went there to support my employee, and found out that we had lots of little little things in common um, with some of his family. And another one, uh, she's a, a lawyer, just took the bar, she'll find out in November, uh, if she's passed the bar and everything, and, um, 
we were discussing, you know, the difference between laws in California and and and, uh, and New York. Um, I've had to do. Uh, well, I didn't have to, but it it, it sure worked in my favor. Is I studied um, the sections on family law out here in California when I was going through. Uh, separation with my ex I wanted to know you know what my rights were and and what the laws pertaining to the situation was and so I spent a lot of time studying the laws and and uh, and that's what she specializes in law and uh, family law out in New York so that was a interesting conversation and then she (laughs) she asked about uh about like how we go about you know determining how we treat for pests and I said well it really depends you know it's uh if it's just basic you know ants spiders crickets and she just whoa 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 spiders are a pest out here (laughs) yeah (laughs) you you mean just the poisonous ones no out here it's every spider every spider uh I'm in California by the way California has its own laws about everything and, and their own views on everything not necessarily my views by the way um I don't um I don't share the uptight views of most of the people out here or at least the I don't share the views of the people who speak out claiming that they speak for everybody um but uh, yeah, it was, it, that was funny because she was so offended that spiders were a pest. Um, so we talked about that for a while. It was uh, I, I I honestly went in thinking that it was going to be that I was going to be in and out in five minutes, and I was just going to be there to to. Let my employee know that, you know, I was thinking about them, I was there for them, and and I stayed for almost an hour and 45 minutes, and and of course, they're Filipino, so uh, I I, I have a buddy who, his wife's family is Filipino, and I completely forgot that uh, they're, they're very akin to Italian people in terms of uh, food. So I get in there and I'm talking to him and I'm I haven't even been there for like two three minutes. And he starts telling me about the food. Oh, you, you gotta try the food. We have, we have food. Yeah, no, I'm 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 okay, but thank you. You know. Oh no, you 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 gotta try the food. We we have Filipino stew uh, stew and and all this. Well, you know, I I, I trust you, but I'm, I'm good. Don't worry about it. And like every couple of minutes, it just somebody else was coming up talking about, oh, you should go get yourself something to eat. You look hungry. <laughs> so finally, about a half an hour or so in, my employee, he comes, goes, I, I'm hungry. Come on, let's go get something to eat. And he makes me this big plate of food. I'm like, okay. So I eat it. I love Filipino food, by the way. Um, and, uh, so I'm sitting there and I'm eating my plate and I haven't even finished what's on my plate and he starts bringing me all these desserts and I mean on one plate he had like seven different desserts on my plate and I'm still eating my, my main meal and I'm just like okay 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 and so we get done and uh, I told him I said okay you know what I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff in the car uh, I, I really should be going you know and oh, take some food, take some food. You, you still look hungry. I'm like, no, no. I uh, trust me. I feel full. I'm good. And so they keep going on and they keep going on. And uh, <laughs> they, they give me this big old box. And they're like, here, take all of it. I was like, no, I, I really can't. They're like, no, we got plenty. Take it. Okay, so now I've got a whole bunch of food. 
which probably I will only eat because my children, as much as I, as I try to share with them the different kinds of food and, uh, you know, from different cultures and everything, uh, they still are, they're not very picky, but, uh, they can, they can be, they can be pretty picky. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, end this video here, uh, cause I'm done with my journey for the road today. Uh, so, um, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and, uh, and I will see you later.